Let's balance the equation Al plus CuCl2. This is aluminum and copper 2 chloride. We'll also look at the type of reaction and the states for each of the substances here. So let's look at the type of reaction first. So we have aluminum, solid aluminum, and this pushes the copper out of the solution with the copper 2 chloride. So the copper, it ends up being all by itself. This will be solid copper metal. This is a single displacement reaction. The metals, they've essentially switched places. So the type of reaction, single displacement. Let's balance the equation. One aluminum, one copper, and two chlorine atoms. Product side, one aluminum, we have one copper, and then the three chlorine atoms. Whenever we have an odd number when balancing equations, it's usually good to get it to be an even number. So if I put a two in front of the aluminum chloride, I'll have one times two, so now I'll have two aluminum atoms. But three times two, that'll give me six. That's an even number. Now I can put a three in front of the copper two chloride. One times three, that gives me three coppers. But this two times three here, that gives me six. So now the chlorines are balanced. And since the aluminum and the copper, they're all by themselves, that's pretty easy to fix. I could put a two as my coefficient here, one times two, that gives me two. And for the copper, I need three, put a three here, one times the three, that gives us three. And we're done. This equation is balanced. If we wanted to write the states, both aluminum and copper, they're solids, they're solid metal. Then copper two chloride, that's soluble in water, it'll be aqueous, just like aluminum chloride here is aqueous as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus CuCl2, aluminum plus copper 2 chloride. The type of reaction, single displacement. Note that it would also be a redox reaction because the aluminum and the copper, they're changing their oxidation states. Thanks for watching.